Burning bridges. I'll give you an example. A young student of mine was auditioning along with 12 others, young, young men, and they had been waiting for a while. The casting director had told them that the director who was supposed to be present at the casting session would be late. So now they've been waiting 40, 45 minutes, and they were beginning to gripe. I have this to do, I have this to do, it's not fair. Then the casting director came out and said that the director had called, and the director would be there in about 15, 20 minutes. As the casting director was going back in, the young man who had been griping the most stood up and said, listen, this is totally unfair. I mean, you treat actors like they were cattle. You know, some of us have another audition to go to in another part of town. Some of us have jobs to go back to. This is not right. Well, the casting director was not responsible for the director being late, and she felt like two cents. You know, what could she say? She just apologized for the director. And he continued. He said, I am not waiting. And the next time you call me in, make sure that you tell my agent what time I should be here, not what time the director is going to be here. And he left in a huff. Now, what he said may have been true, may have been the feeling that everybody had in the wedding room. However, he's the only one who said it. Now, that was a mistake, and let me tell you what. He made two mistakes. When you go in a casting office, what you want to do is you want to create a good impression first. Second, you want to read. That's what you want to do. Now, he didn't create a good impression because he lost his temper, and he didn't read because he left in a huff. What I want to ask you is, do you think that this young man will ever be called back by that casting director? Do you think that this young man burned his bridges?